Everybody, welcome. We're doing chocolate cake only, so that means when you end your turn, every pet on your team has to have this tier 2 chocolate cake equipment. And yeah, that's the only rule, so... Yeah, I can't really say all the food is allowed, because obviously this is the only equipment allowed, but... Yeah. Uh... I don't know, I don't know what to say. That is the only rule. <laughs> if you find a sloth, you are allowed to have that without chocolate cake. But yeah, that's it. Alright. Let's be the usual siblings. Send it. Alright. Mama said, I need the rolls. I could get a toy, maybe, but... No, this is all nothing, alright? <laughs> I have one roll. That is... that is fine. And chocolate cake, we have it. Um, yes, I need to find a better target, though. Copy faint abilities level 1 from highest tier enemy. That's actually pretty good. Like, I'm gonna trust that other people have good abilities <laughs> and that this isn't a waste of time. And there's another one. Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler's pretty good. Let's make sure there's no cheating or anything. Um, someone lost HP, but I think they're gonna get it back, so. Looks all good there. You got Bigfoot. Think he'll do well, yeah. Or Bigfoot. Oh, d so this isn't going to work anymore either, right? Because I didn't get to try it, but I think people said that the knockout abilities don't trigger on chocolate cake anymore. So I think you and Rhino just won't be abusable. The game's glitched. It's replaying the last battle over and over. Hmm. I also had a, some sort of bug like that earlier today. And no, oh, we had the same ability and they won. Pain. Alright, well, let's play that separately and then stack in. And <laughs> find another chocolate cake, nice. Okay. So, at best, you can really only play one thing a turn, unless you do some fancy stuff like getting more money somehow, or using, you know, sea gold chocolate cake to do it, but... Yeah, it might be a little bit slow trying to fill out your team, especially if you can't find chocolate cake. Your one coin off, yeah, I feel like that's going to happen quite a bit. There he is. Incredible Bigfoot. And Chipmunk. So this is something that's nice to have, because it's kind of like storage for the chocolate cake. But it basically has no board presence at all. Like, you can turn, you can maybe turn a, a draw into a win, but that's it. <laughs> oh wow, I copied... Great, that's fine. Yeah, <laughs> I copied free rolls. Which, honestly, might be better, because I kind of want that here. Alright. Stalk is fine as well. Uh, let's, let's try and find some of these anyway, though. Or not, actually. I can just, like, buy all this now. I'll go into a Stalk. Stalk's fine. Antita. No, Antita's actually not that great. Osprey's fine. Yeah, it sense. I don't know. Let me carry and give my sheep and bet fish. Sheep would be great. <laughs> He's hogging all the cake. I'm actually doing really good on the finding cake front. Like, I feel like I don't need to buy too many things here. I'm pretty happy to just buy the avocado next turn and potentially unfreeze Osprey. I, mean, I, can, I can sit on this for a while. Oh. oh, no, never mind. That is good. Things there. I think I leave Osprey behind. We can try and find a combo for these, and if we do, then I can potentially combine next turn and then put Chocolate Cake on a tier 5. Mm, there's still more time to look. I didn't find it, alright. <laughs> Whatever, I can maybe put the chocolate cake on a tier 4 then. Just show me a good one. You have 12 hours daily screen time on your phone. Thankfully, I have far less, but that's because I'm at my PC for <laughs> all the wake hours instead. Which isn't really an improvement. 
good. Plus it's like extra charges for this. Not that it matters, it's not gonna die. Alright. Cuttlefish, cockatoo, osprey. I don't want these. That is a level, okay. So play it separately first, just to make sure I'm charging it up. And I am certain that I take Beluga here. Yeah, we take Beluga. <laughs> and I kind of want to buy canned food, but it doesn't do anything. It might protect them from um, snipey stuff, so sure. Oh, right, I can't eat that, but whatever. I'm doing this anyway. We can just buy some other random stat food. It still summons it back kind of big. And yeah, send it again. But yeah, this is going to be great, because I can also just summon large things. So I just need to find some like decent things to throw inside. Or rhino. I want a rhino. <laughs> I always want a rhino when we're doing these lobbies. But he really is great. It's amazing. And Wombat's actually doing work. He's actually copying decent abilities now. I will... Why am I doing this? Whatever. <laughs> sure? I think I still want to try and find levels. And yeah, we're, we're doing this. I don't know what I want to put into the Beluga yet. I, I mean, I could potentially just level the Wombat next turn and then put one of these things in. But yeah, I think I'm saving the chocolate for you. Getting that to level 2 so it turns into a level 3 could be amazing. So, send again. Didn't even think about Honey Bear with this lobby. You could buff something to be 50-50 or whatever, have Honey Bear in front of it, and now your big thing doesn't die. Yeah, so the couple of times I've won on this lobby is because I have used T-Rex for scaling, and then I've had like a frontline Phoenix to replace all the equipment. But it is a risky move, because while you still have the chocolate cake, um, the scaling obviously doesn't do anything. And taking away your chocolate cake early half the time isn't that beneficial. Oh my god. Yeah, I need better abilities. Oh, it was so close! No, if I had, what, one more summon? One more buy, sell, or anything, then we could have got a win there. That's a shame. Alright. I'll see this first. Gem Shepherds. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> I can't even level it up this turn if I wanted to. And I don't know if um, force feeding that gem shepherd is the right play. I kind of want to run double this, but then I'd have to sell something else. Whatever. I, I think I do just do that. And then we hold on to you. That's really good. And then, yeah, stack it next turn, maybe. And I can still save the chocolate for um the combo. I No, not the combo, but for replacing it with something. OMG, copying Nessie with Parrot is bad. I Look, I only found out about that like a few days ago. I didn't realize they had changed Nessie, so it basically only gets one trigger. Like, even across multiple Nessies. And um, yeah, I tried running a double level 3 Nessie team, and I didn't understand why it wasn't working. I refused to read. <laughs> Alright. Stag it or play separate? Hmm... Let's play separate. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm doing this. Stop. I mean, I could maybe do that, but I don't think it's worth it. Hmm. Freeze. Deer. Deer is an improvement. Alright. <laughs> so you eat deer. You can go to the front now. And yeah, looking pretty great. I have no idea how I'm going to tell which is a scary team, but I feel like I'm in a good spot. Getting a lot of trumpets. Not as many trumpets as they are, apparently. But, yeah. And that. That was great. Yo, Yo Wombat. My secret Nyala Wombat. Alright. So yeah, like, I like what's in these things. I don't need to change it. Blowfish, no. 
I could potentially go for the um the scaling dream. So if I do find a T Rex, I could try and make that work. I could also change you for another Nyala, but I don't really want to. Yeah, I, I think I try that. Like I can I can get rid of something. But I would have to find T Rex now. There he is. Alright. <laughs> Next turn then. I think I sell Stalk, but maybe not. Like, Wombat's probably pretty inconsistent, and I'm not buy selling anymore, so this isn't going to be that large. So maybe I get rid of this. Yo, a bear. Okay, that's not that bad. I at least got my double Nyala trigger first. Alright. Come four turns rolling, zero cakes. Ouch. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of you. It's been doing fine, but <laughs> let's just commit. Alright. So he's gonna be scaling up those two all the time now. And I'd love it if I could get him leveled up as well. Um just gonna leave it at the back, because, you know, he sucks. He, he can't actually do anything. Yeah, even if I put him like up front with you, I don't think that's gonna make room. Why scaling? So I'm scaling because if something gets sniped early, then it dies and it doesn't get to benefit from being a higher level. But I can also just force my things to have different equipment if I swap in a um whatever it's called. Either a bear or a phoenix. Bigger fan of Phoenix though, because it messes with the other team as well. But yeah, that's a, that's a long-term play. Right now, it obviously doesn't do anything because I'm buffing things that immediately explode. But it could be really good. So, <laughs> I'm leaving it open. And these summons is endless. Insane. Alright. I was looking at the other chocolate cake and wondering if that was worth going for. Maybe the crow, I don't think, is it. Just show me... I will freeze that. Ugh. There we go. Okay. So, your next level. I'm probably going to double stack those next turn. And I doubt I'm ever going to be by selling these. I can get rid of these two, maybe. And I guess there are other things I can play in. Like, if I am going to be using T Rex, then. Yeah, Lionfish is always pretty fun. I'm not sure if there's anything else that really benefits from really high stats. I guess a rooster. So yeah, I could start looking for something else to swap into scale. And maybe I do just freeze the next Phoenix I find, because we're not we might not be too far away from it being a good play. Hey, we're gonna get all of these as well. Yeah, we're safe. <laughs> Dude, Wombat is doing great. I'm loving this guy. Alright, stack. Stack everything. And freeze chocolate cake? Stack you? Lionfish. Okay, I think I swap that in next turn then. You summon tier 5s, you could summon... I don't know, you could basically summon nothing, but it copies the highest tier ability from the enemy. That's level 2. Yeah, it could be really good. I don't know. Bill <laughs> Stalk, no. Never. Ooh, there's actually not that much time left. Hmm. Yeah, they have a lionfish as well. Is that gonna mess me up at all? Yes. <laughs> Killed everything. Um. Oh, I'm definitely fine though. Like, worst case scenario, that kills everything and then it dies to peanuts, but... Yeah. Alright, get out of here. Then, force you. I can start it here. So do that. Then I, I really don't know whether I go for the T Rex or not. Like, how much time is the? I probably just try and get you up. <laughs> Look, freeze it. If I find one more, then maybe we do it. But yeah, I feel like um, I'm probably not that far away from buying a a Phoenix or something. Because these things are big. If I can just keep these as they are in a fight, then that's going to do a ton of work for me. 
Like, look at the rest of these teams. They're not. They're not that scary if they take if you take away their abilities. And by giving them crisp, you like half the abilities, maybe. Another one of these. And dang, we copied the what? Like level three? No, level two Orker abilities. So we did lose a, a thing there. And that's a shame. Okay. Right, so let's get you leveled up. I... <laughs> I am gonna buy pizza. And those are the worst hits, like, actually objectively terrible. Oh. Like, <laughs> these are the things that I might be selling. You know, when I'm done... With everything else, then um, I'm swapping in a Phoenix to try and replace my own equipment here. I guess I could get rid of the Wombat and just keep the T-Rex scaling. Yeah, I'd probably do that, especially with how the, the pizza went, but... Oh, you're lucky those didn't hit Beluga! Never mind, you're right, I'm just dumb. <laughs> Again, I'm sleep-deprived brain. Things aren't working. Why didn't Chimera summon anything? Um, it needs mana to summon things, and it did not get summoned with mana, sadly. Okay. No, that is not good. <laughs> I actually never would have made it to the pig anyway, but... Mm. Okay. 1 HP, yeah, this isn't happening. I think I do need to find the phoenix, like, right now. I don't think you would be fine, but again, it would take a quite a while. Nope. I could freeze things and then maybe risk a pizza, but I don't know. There's one of the Phoenix here. So I don't know. I maybe could have rearranged in case I went against that team. You know, have a frontline Wombat maybe. Actually, yeah, if I had a frontline Wombat, I could have just copied it itself. It's one of the best hits. No, I mean, one of them hitting this would have been great. But, yeah, you're definitely right. If it hit both of those, or even one of them, then it would wreck me a little bit. Another Phoenix. Okay, we're good. I have so many things alive. Alright. See, I don't know whether to risk this or not. It's probably not worth it for the stats. I, I do need to, need to force Phoenix if I can find that. Please. Phoenix doesn't exist. No. Phoenix, okay. Okay, I can do that in whole if I survive. There is still a Phoenix team. Yeah, I'm just going to run this at the front. It might screw me up if it copies a, um, a summoning ability, but... You know, Orca there. Eagle might be fine. It looks like it's not too bad. If it copies Wolf, then it's kind of ruined, but we can try. No okay, Kcom Phoenix? Did they not, or was that just because it um, resummed? I didn't see. Phoenix team! Saved, kind of. Like, it's what I wanted. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it was still fine. Okay. Alright, so, say goodbye to Wombat. I can get my own Phoenix here. And immediately get it to level 3. <laughs> you know, with the, um, with the chocolate cake triggering. And then, yeah, that's going to be hitting 9 things, which is literally everything on the board. And that means all my guys get to live. Pretty great. It also means getting these things to the actual level 3 would be very useful, so... Yeah, I'd prioritize Lionfish because it doesn't get messy. Should maybe move you further forward, actually. Okay, double Phoenix. Oh, come on, I have to be fine. They have an Orca, but I'm so much larger. Yeah, 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 okay. T-Rex play was insane. It, it can pay off. It's not guaranteed to pay off, but it looks like we came out the other side, barely. 
I'm gonna move you further forwards, and yeah, this, this is buy more. <laughs> Alright, well, keep it going. I'm pretty happy to just keep the T-Rex as well. He obviously just explodes in a fight, but that's still... Well, I guess it doesn't really do anything for the Phoenix, but it's still a decent amount of stats for any of these guys when it hits them. So I like it as a scaler. We can continue. He knows bigger Kappa. Why the Kappa? I'm huge. Look at my ginormous team. The biggest team in the lobby. Do not risk. <laughs> um, do I risk going for a level? It'd be nice, but I don't know if um we'd get there or not. There's no point doing you. That that objectively does nothing. Same that. I don't know. I might try. Oh wait, they're doing the same thing. Except they're relying on <laughs> Beast Bots are relying on my Phoenix. Oh no. Huh. Well hopefully I can just beat them. Yeah, that's worrying, because I can't really I don't win by selling my Phoenix. So I kinda just have to leave it and then suffer. I lose HP there, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can make that get where we need it to. It's so close. Can you stop hitting the Phoenix? That's like the what third or fourth turn in a row? The Phoenix is the bad shot. Hit any of these. Pro strat. Yeah, he's got he's got me like headlocked. I can't do anything. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, because if I sell my Phoenix, then, you know, I waste all of my stats, but currently I do have better stats than them. But by not selling it, I have, like, two dead slots on my team when they only have one. And they're still scaling, and faster than I am. Oh, big. Oh, that's a little bit awkward. Never mind, it's great. Okay, I was afraid that I was going to die to the crisp somehow before I got to bump into each other. Come on, show me. Show me this. Yeah! <laughs> okay. I don't know, I could freeze that as well. I'm still not risking a Salas, but... I don't know. Do that. T-Rex might hit it anyway, but it's not like it's safer to put it on one of these. Yeah, of course. Oh well. <laughs> I'll take the 50-50. And yeah, that's a pretty big improvement. On the last fight, it wouldn't have made a difference because it killed everything anyway, but... You know, we just got lucky that um, it survived by 1 HP and managed to hit another big thing. So maybe it'll make a difference. Super speedy tier 3 any lobby and turret pack. There's a redo from earlier. Yeah, we could do. It is a bit early. Hey, my backline survived. <laughs> oh, wait. We're good. We win. Alright. Dude, I forgot that I only had one source of trumpets, and I thought I'd already used it up for some reason, but... Hey, we made it out the other ends. Alright, GG's. <laughs> GG's, peace butt. Good game.